Well, now comes the, uh, the moment of truth. I've removed the old RAM chip. That's there now. Put a socket in and inserted a new replacement component. So, it's time to power it up now. Seems to power up okay. We get channel 4. And now for the test. Well, this is interesting. No noise on channel 2. No noise on channel 1. No noise on channel 3. I'm going to turn channel 2 all the way up here. nothing. So I'm taking that as a good sign because normally we would have heard noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a, uh, a setting where similar to this where Unit one, unit four is making noise. I want to see something that causes unit two to make noises like that. The other thing that I'm going to do is cut my probes to the new chip and make sure that everything is copacetic. And what I'd like to see is that instead of those uh, slow rise times, I want to see nice sharp lines, and that should. Uh, basically solidify the case that everything is good. Okay, I found a, a setting. I've got A and B set to number 99, which is called Science Lab. Uh, it says A is a generator, I guess. B is face. I don't really understand what it's saying, but anyhow, it's using uh, ESP A and B. And B is the one I'm interested in here, though. I notice that when I turn up channel 2, That's exactly what we were hearing before on channel 4. So I think that says pretty certainly that ESPA is working, or ESPB is working exactly as it should now. That makes me very happy. So I've got the test probe, uh, or the IC uh, uh, test adapter with the oscilloscope probes connected back up to that memory IC. Uh, scope's running, so I'll power it back up. Hear the sound, and now if we go over here. Look at that. So this is the bit that was having problems before. Now it's working very nicely. If we run that into uh, in free mode, free run, let's pop over the trigger menu here. Source channel one level. There. And if I set the trigger level really high see where it just triggers every once in a while. We can just kind of see some nice little examples there. So this is good. 
That shows me uh, got nice sharp edges. The rise in fall times are, are, are as they should be again. So I know that electrically this thing is functioning properly. Now the final test is there's a, a test mode that you can put this thing into and it runs uh, tests on, well this is where on Saturday I put it into that test mode and it picked off the fact that ESPB had a problem with memory right off the bat. So I'm going to run that test and we'll see that it should confirm that uh, ESPB is functioning properly again.